have to defeat the mass of Mono Black and Mono Black. Who do you even think you are? You come into my house. You know what you gotta do? Take off your freaking shoes because all he's gotta see is the feet. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful freaking Saturday. The giveaway is still going on right here over my head. There should be a link. If there is no link, just check out the Jace Mill deck that I've built. It's over there. You have until like, I don't know, three to four days left. I will announce when the giveaway is over. And what is there to win? Well, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Phyrexia all will be one. Rebellion Rising Commander deck. Together with this Return to Earth Boulder which is just the best kind of deck box you can have because it is made out of 87% renewable material. I don't know if the camera is focusing or not, but it's written right here, you know? So you should totally check that out. I will even throw in some sleeves and I will throw in some very beautiful Maloney freaking tokens for you. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah. Also, my camera should be looking better. So sharp, because every video that I'm recording now is at least 10 gigabytes, so yeah, it should be a little bit better. At least let's hope so. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the glorious mayhem hammering. Today, we have the mayhem dominus coming down together with the glory dominus. And they will be dominating so freaking much. Why do we have four Mondrake and only one Sophim? Well, there is one good reason. We don't rely on the Sofim, but I still like to have it in here just as, you know, a little bit of spice. But the Mondrag, on the other hand, oh, that is another thing. This card is just very good in here. So Sofim, if a source would deal non-combat damage to another controller, uh, to another opponent permanent, you know, it deals double that damage. And what does deal damage, you ask? Non-combat damage all the time? Well, the only called Anvil. <laughs> that is just very darn nice. So at the beginning, this was a pure Rectus only called Anvil Sofim deck. And then I realized it is just not good enough. But hey, together with the Sofim and the Mechanized Warfare, we're good. Why do we have three Mechanized Warfare, only one Sofim? Well, because our artifacts can attack and deal some damage. And that is very darn good with the Mechanized Warfare. But imagine that every time you do this, you get double the tokens out of it. That, my friends, is indeed glorious mayhem. So, we're doing that. And that is just very darn nice. But wait, there is more. Of course, we're playing wedding announcements because together with the Mondrake, they're just very darn tasty. Just imagine you played a wedding announcement on turn three. Now on turn four or turn five to make certain that you can protect your Mondrake. You're playing the Mondrake. You're getting four fr uh, two freaking tokens out of this and you can sack them to make this indestructible. Just very darn freaking nice. But wait. I told you, there is more. We have one new card here, the Exuberant Fuseling. This is a 1-1 one, one Trample. It's a 0-1 Trample that gets plus 1, plus 0 for each oil counter on it. You might say that's not that good, but whenever it, you know, it enters the battlefield or whenever not a creature or artifact I control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I put an oil counter on this Fuseling. That means this is a 1-1 one, one with Trample that with this, and this, and this, turns into a freaking beast very darn fast, my friends. And we freaking like that. So, but wait, there is more. We're also playing Eurobrask's Forge. Because this is just such a nice freaking card. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you put an oil counter on this bad boy. And then you create an X1 Red for X in horror. This right here, that has Trample and Haste. Where X is the number of oil counters on the forge. And then you sacrifice that token. But you can do whatever you want with the token. You could, for example, use it for your annihilating glare. Which is pretty darn nice. Because with this, for one mana, we can destroy a target creature or planeswalk as long as you sacrifice another freaking creature. Like this horror right here. So, we're doing that. Or, we're having the, uh, the Mondrag out. And we're using these two to make it indestructible. Stuff like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. By the way, if you have the Mondrake out in the Blood Tide Harvester, now you're getting two blood tokens out of it. Just, just saying, you know, and that is very darn good. So, we're dealing a lot of pingy damage, but as we're playing white, I thought the top end would be nice to have the Wandering Emperor and Eternal Wanderer, 
to make ourselves more tokens or to remove whatever they have, you know? Because if we don't get in for a bit, little bit of damage, we will be losing. And we can be losing very, very darn fast if we don't have these two protecting us, you know? If they are like getting out of control and we are not, we're very sad. Also, if you have the Mondrake out, that means two Samurais and two Samurais with Double Strike. These are not as cool as these one. I have to say, I like these ones way freaking better than these ones. So, let me know what your opinion is on these Samu freaking rice. So, if you need card draw, you have the wedding announcement. You know, that is already very good. The Misha's research desk can also help you find stuff. And, you know, all of this triggers the exuberant fuseling. Also, when these die, triggers the exuberant fuseling. So, that is a win-win. All of it has trample. So, you will be getting through with one way or another. The only thing that could be a little bit annoying is like, I don't know, a Phyrexian Obliterator. But that is why we have this and we have this. And we have this, you know, and this. So th th there is a lot of answers that we have that will just help us out a lot. Also, another reason why I only have one Sofim in, in here is because you have to discard two cards to make it indestructible. And that sometimes is something that we cannot achieve. But if you have this and the Mechanized Warfare out, now your only code anvils will deal three to four damage each. I did not do the math, but it's, it's trust me, I'm a scientist. So, land-wise, we have three Sundown Pass, four Black Cleave Black Cleave Cliffs, I did that right, two Shattered Sanctum, six freaking, uh, you know, very beautiful, very, very beautiful Phyraxian uh, Mountains, I, I was reading it, I could not remember what color it is, two very beautiful Swamps, and six very beautiful Plains. <laughs> so, yeah, this deck is just utterly freaking bananas, and I love it so freaking much. And, you know, I want to say thank you to all of you for the ongoing support as the making of this video. We're two, I kid you not, two people away from the 18,500 already. Like, that is just absolute freaking bananas. Am I lying? No, I'm not. I'm not. I double-checked. It's only one now. One away. So, if you are that person, please subscribe. We're only 1,500 people away from the next freaking giveaway at 20 freaking K. And it will be a freaking big one. Oh, trust me. It will be amazing. So thank you also very, very much for the ongoing support. I wish you all a very pleasant freaking Saturday. One more thing. If you're one of these people telling me I should stop screaming, get out of here. This is how I talk. <laughs> so thank you also very much. This is glorious mayhem. I'm Matt Malone, and I will see you in those glorious games. So I upgraded my setting slightly. It should be looking very nice now. <laughs> very darn nice. <laughs> All right. Um, I like the end, thanks to the Blood Tide Harvester. I will keep it here. Even though we're up against Mono Red going first. I told you, I told you, I did not even, I pre-recorded. Pre-recorded, my friends. <laughs> pre-recorded. All right. <laughs> What even is this, man? What even is this madness? Alrighty, so we do have the Mechanized Warfare, though, and we do have the Only Cold Anvil. Like, you know, the moment they went first, I had a feeling deep inside of my body that they were freaking mono red. Am I looking bluish? I don't know. Maybe I am. I have to find out. It's the new settings. So, what do you have here? Nothing. Well, in that case, let's bring down the Only Cold Anvil. That's pretty darn good. All we need is one more white source to be super darn happy. And if we don't have it, we're still kind of alright. The squee. The freaking squee. Alright. Well, that's annoying as heck, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. But we're gaining life back, so that's also alright, you know? Maybe we're even drawing something worth our while here. Well, we're not finding something worth our while. But we do have this. So, hey, oh, we're still kind of alrighty here, you know? Still kind of alrighty. Cause what are they even doing here? I can just block the squee and I will block the squee. One bajillion freaking percentile that I will do that. Unless of course they have now a double freaking anti festivities, then we're a little bit sad. Do you have it? Anti festivities in hand? The Phoenix chick. That ain't no anti festivities. I can live with that. I really can live with that. Okay. And I'm doing it like this. Losing this is like, you know, the least of my worries here. The least of my worries. The wedding announcement. I honestly don't think so. 
Wait, first time attacking in, of course. I mean, I'm losing it anyway, so does it even really matter? No, it doesn't. Doesn't even really matter. So, yeah. We, we're still here, you know? We are still here. And maybe we even find something worth our while. I mean, the wedding announcement is pretty good, but if we could find, like, another white source... Chef's kiss delicious. Chef's freaking kiss delicious. I mean, Mono Red going first, what do you even expect would happen here? What do you even expect would freaking happen here? I mean, we're gaining life back. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, alright. <laughs> oh, freaking right. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Okay. So, we're bringing down the Sulfim, though. That is already pretty tasty. And we are attacking in here like this. Well, that is kind of what I want you to do, isn't it, my friend? Freaking isn't it? So, we're getting two of these. And uh, now we can deal him a lot of damage here, which I like a lot. And if we bring down the Mechanized Warfare here now as well... What do you get here, my friend? It's a land! It is nothing but a land! Beautiful! Freaking beautiful! So we're bringing down a Mechanized Warfare here next turn. The Monastery Swift Spare. I don't fear that. Not in the slightest. Their Phoenix you cannot block anyways. So yeah. I am doing... Nothing. Oh, beautiful. But is it good enough here? I don't know, my friends. I honestly don't freaking know. You're just going all freaking in here. I mean, this is a lot of damage, you know? This is indeed. This is 8 plus 3 is freaking how much? 11? It ain't enough, though. Ain't freaking enough, though. Or is it? Oh, it is enough. It should be enough. Each of these should be doing, like, a lot of freaking damage, you know? Oh, it is enough. We got freaking Mono Red in the first game going first. Get out of here. Soften the mayhem. Dominus brings pain onto you, my friend. Get out of here, Mono Red. Scoop. Meaning Mono Red going first always feels darn freaking good. Darn freaking good. So we don't have any white sources here yet, but we will be getting there. And I will see you when we get there. Double Oni Cold Anvil. Alright, but we're up against somebody that one bajillion percentile has freaking, uh, you know, destroy all artifacts. So we're keeping our Oni Cold Anvils here. Doing this though now. And we get a, can get a little creature out of this. Ooh, I want this, absolutely. absolutely. freaking lutely Alright. So it will get them to use their freaking brothers at end here even more, you know? Even freaking more. If they have a counter spell, so be it. Nothing I can do about that. Alright. I like where this is going, though, you know? I really do. Like, we will be losing this Zerobrask Forge here to a freaking brothers at end. I can tell you that much, right away. Right freaking away. But we're still dealing some damage here. Going up against Is it? you know? That is okay though, okay? And uh, yeah, as long as we can, I don't know. Do something here, I'm happy with it. The Impulse. Oh, okay. Maybe they don't have the Brothers at end. We will have to see here. But I'm pretty darn certain that they do. Like, let's be honest, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. Why shouldn't they? Why freaking shouldn't they freaking have it? Okay, but how many more do you have, my friend? How many freaking more do you have? So I will not be using the Misha's research desk here yet. Here comes the gin. I kind of expected it. Kind of freaking did. Okay. I mean, it was clear as freaking day that they had it here, you know? Just clear as freaking day that they had it here. But we will see what they're doing. Ooh, Wandering Emperor is nice. Ending the turn. Maybe they're even using their mana here. Come on, use your mana. I know you want to. 
Do you have a counter spell though? Do you have it? Do you have a counter spell though? And how many do you have? That is the only question that I have here. Come earn, man. Come freaking earn, man. Unbelievable. Unfreaking believable. Okay, we still have things to do, you know? We still have another Oni called Anvil, so hey, oh, you know, we could still do stuff. I'm still very happy with that. Maybe we even find a land here? Oh, come on, the double hearty gin, really? Freaking really? Sacrifice another creature. Wait, cancel. Bring it down the Oni called Anvil first. Now we're doing it. Losing the Hardy Jinnier is not even the worst. Uh, losing the Wandering Emperor is not even the worst, you know? So how much more power do you have, my friend? Nothing. I like that. So we're losing the Wandering Emperor, but we can bring down the Mondrak next turn, which is also very darn good. Okay. Oh my lord. Is it Hardy Jin? Terrifying. Freaking terrifying. Okay, so first things first, we are attacking in. Now let us see what your counter spell is here, my friend. Nothing. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. Fading hope. <laughs> fading hope. All right, bring down the fading hope, my friend. Bring it. So I can make this Mondrake indestructible now, which is pretty darn amazing, you know? The rendering flame. Well, I do not care about that too much, do I now? Freaking do I now. Wait. Done. All right. I mean, hey, we lost our creatures here, but that is just what it is. Nothing I can do about that, is there now? Uh, we will see what they have here. We will just be slamming in there, bringing down the Wandering Emperor. Maybe they don't have anything anymore. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. It's all up to now. Make disappear. Yep. No surprise. None so ever. No surprise whatsoever. Okay, all right, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to freaking this now. What have you got here, my friend? I mean, hey, you know, it was a pretty good game for them. Pretty darn good, and we draw another land here, we're done. If we draw anything but a land, we do have a small insignificant chance here. The smallest of all insignificant freaking chances. Do you think they have another freaking counter spell? What are you doing here? Pumping up the blast zone? Do it! Freaking do it! Oh, that was your last mistake, my friend! That was your last freaking mistake, my friend! Oh, you did not just do that! You did not just freaking... Come on, you had to win on your end! All you had to do was do nothing! All you had to do was do freaking nothing, my friend! Yeah, that's it. That is it! Mondrag for the victory! Oh, get out of here! Your misplay cost you your game, man! And you were in the clutches of the dominance of metal! Get metalized! So my new video settings are quite hefty. <laughs> 22 gigs for the last two videos that I just had. Okay, all right, how are we doing this? Well, first of all, I'm keeping this hand. We're up against Mono Frickin' Black, eh? All righty. Do not like it too much, but we do have the Misha's research test, so we can find whatever we need here. Whatever we freaking need here. So, Flipplorenio, whatever that means. Reckoner, freaking bank, buster, coming down. So, Mishra's research desk. Find me something good. Well, that is indeed good. I like that. Oh, I cannot play it. Well, I can play it now. <laughs> I can play it now. And I will play it now. Alrighty. Very good. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the game was good to us for once. You know, for once it was pretty good to us. So here comes the Liliana. Graveyard Trespasser. There goes a Mishra's research test. Sag. Sag. But hey, what am I supposed to do about it? They are attacking in. Aren't they? 
Yes, they are. I mean, they cannot do anything here anyways. So yeah, it's the right call. It is the right freaking call. Okay, so we're breaking down the wedding announcement here. We even found another white source. Oh, that is just so darn good. So darn freaking good. Okay. Ending the turn. So if we do find another land here, we're prime freaking beef. Prime beef, my friends. Because then we can bring down the Mondrak. And if we don't, I might consider just, you know, bringing down the Wandering Emperor very soon. The Shadred was kind of to be expected here. Kind of to be freaking expected. Okay. So, slam it down like a clown, Charlie Brown. But I can just play the Wandering Emperor here and be going my merry freaking way. Because they will be losing their freaking Sheldred here, and I freaking love that. And I will be doing it just right away. You know, there's literally no reason not to do it. Literally none so freaking ever. Beautiful, freaking beautiful. Okay, so what do we draw here? Urbrask's Forge? Not even half that bad. Not at all, to be honest. But I just hope that we do find another land. That would be prime freaking beef. I know I keep saying that a lot, but it just is the reality of things, you know? So, Invoke Despair is coming down now. We will be losing a lot of things, but it's still alright. The Flash George. Unexpected. They're just being super aggro here. Super freaking aggro. <laughs> That is insane to me. Just literally freaking insane to me. So what you got here? The removal for my little 1-1 one, one you're attacking in for a 7? I can't wait for it to happen. Oh, are you attacking my Wandering Emperor? You are. Okay, well that's good. That is pretty good. I, I can accept that. And I will accept that. Because there's nothing I can do about it anyways. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, go for the throat here, my friend. Go ahead and do that. It's, it's okay, you know, it's nothing I can do about it anyways. So, we lost a Wandering Emperor. Maybe we do find a land here. Would be pretty good. We did find another Wandering Emperor. It's not even half that bad. Not even half that bad. Yes, I'm doing it right away. Before they can even react to it, you know. Take action, yes. Okay. So, we can double block here now, even if we want to. If we have to. They could still have an Invoke Despair coming down, you know? That is still a reality of things. And I would not be surprised in the slightest. So, do you have it? Mr. Flaurinio? Do you have it? I don't even know, like, you know, what is even this name? <laughs> what even is this name? Alrighty. Once more, all I'm hoping for is one more land here. Yes, I said it. You heard it here first. Malone is hoping for a land. If they want to get rid of my Wandering Emperor once more here, that is fine by me, you know? I will double block this freaking Reckoner Bank Buster. Or am I? I mean, that also means that they're not drawing cards anymore, you know? That would also mean that. So I'm kind of okay with that. I kind of actually am. But that would also mean that I don't have anything for my Mondrak anymore if I do draw land. So let's not do it. Let's not freaking do it. We're okay with this. And they have a removal, don't they? Because that is the thing. If they had a removal here, they would have destroyed my... Yeah, okay, that is no removal. That ain't no removal. Well, that ain't no answer though anyway, is it now? Freaking is it now? So, we can block things here. If they do have a removal for my Mondrake, so be it. But there's not too much I can do about it right now. But I do have the Ourobrasks Forge here. So that is also really darn good. Like, all we need is like one land, you know? One land and we're super good. So they will start drawing here now, which is absolutely acceptable. Once more, if they don't find a removal here right away, we're kind of alright. Did they find it? They did find. No, they did not find it. Oh, beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay. So, what are you doing though, my friend? Are you attacking in? 
Are you now? You're not attacking in. Oh, I love it so much. We even finally found a freaking land. Freaking finally, man. So we can do this now. We will be attacking in. I mean, if they... Nice. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate the kindness. So I will sack this Mondrax Forge to my own cold anvil. I will absolutely do that, you know? Uh, this Orobrax Forge. So first off, we are attacking in. Let us see if they're blocking somehow. I don't know, they shouldn't be. So now we will start to make our freaking comeback. Next to blockage. Alrighty. Done. Second these two. Now this Mondrake is freaking indestructible. And all I want is to find another freaking land. But we're doing this now. But this is though very saddening. Very darn freaking saddening. So, but we still do have answers here. You know, it's not like we're not having answers. This is when it leaves the battlefield. Whenever one or more artifacts leave the battlefield. Yes, beautiful. Freaking beautiful. So we can start blocking here now and do them freaking dirty. And I like that a lot. So if they have a freaking Gixxus command here, I will be a little bit sad. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Not gonna freaking lie. But if they don't have a Gixxus command, then we're looking pretty darn good. So... Our only cold anvil is still producing two every single turn now, which I like a lot. They have the card draw. Which is still alright with me. I don't mind. They also turned at daytime here. Well kept at daytime. Oh, freaking beautiful. Oh, freaking beautiful. So, yeah. We're now in the advantage slightly, I would like to say here, you know. Creating this samurai, creating even two of those. Ain't that freaking something. Oh, yes it is. It is indeed freaking something. So we're attacking in with the Mondrake like we're doing nothing else. <laughs> we really, we really persevered here. And I am very happy about that. I mean, the double samurai here is just insanely good. Insanely good. And we will even get like two more out of these. So that's also very darn nice. So, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> so what are you going to do here, my friend? I am gaining so many things here all the freaking time. Bring down your freaking... Invoke despair now. I dare you. I freaking dare you. Oh, the Sheldred. That is okay. That is all right. That will draw you some cards. That will draw you some freaking cards, won't it? Uh, gain you some life, I mean. So. What is our grand freaking plan here? Just overrun the board. I think overrunning the board is pretty good. And getting rid of the Sheldred here is also pretty good because, you know, it will be gone until their next turn. So they're going back to 17 here. And we're down to 11, which isn't good, you know? Uh, we are drawing here. Yes, sadly. Oh, beautiful. Oh, freaking beautiful. Okay. Uh, sacrifice an artifact. Getting rid of the Sheldred here. Getting rid of you, making myself even more of these. I mean, it's just, you know, pretty good. <laughs> it's just pretty darn good. <laughs> it is just very darn freaking good here. Creating more samurais, because why the freaking heck not? How about you got here, my friend? The cut down, eh? You got a cut down, don't you? I mean, eh? Hey. We, we got a good chance here at a freaking comeback, and I love it a lot. So we are still slamming in. I mean, hey, these are a lot of Samurais coming their way. Yeah, pump it up. Pump it up real good. But this is still freaking 11 damage coming your way, my friend. 
All right, did we go down? That will go down as well. Oh, are you taking it? Are you freaking? Okay, all right, I, I accept that. We're still gaining some life here, you know, and that is very darn freaking beautiful. What are you doing here, my friend? I have enough freaking blockers, you know? I do have enough of them. And this goes to the face. Alright. What you got here? Cut down? Come on, play your cut down. <laughs> play your cut down. <laughs> See what you get from that! Oh man, this annihilating glare was just exactly what I needed here. Freaking exactly what I needed here. So even an invoked despair would not be enough here. Just not enough. The only thing they could have that would be kinda good would be like a Gix's command. The only thing. Or... Or... A freaking, uh, what's his face? The, um... You know the one that destroys all creature with two or less? Yeah, that would be terrifying as well. That would be very much terrifying as well. Alright. I mean, hey, I would just block here like this, you know, no worries at all. Just none so ever. <laughs> none so ever. So they don't have it. That is all I can say here. They don't freaking have it. Okay, yeah, do that. So I think that we have a good chance of a freaking comeback here, you know? Oh, I forgot to push the button. I forgot to push that freaking button. All right, I lost out on some damage here, didn't I? Did I not? Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. So what do you have here? What have you gotten? The Jadar. All right. That is some tech here. That is some crazy tech. Uh, pass to end turn. What can we find here? Another land. Not exactly what I'm looking for here. But what I will be doing is just attacking with everything. Let them figure it out, you know? <laughs> I mean, the just, you know, just the freaking Samurais are 12 damage already. Just the Samurais alone are 12 damage already. So what you got here, my friend? What have you gotten here? Whatever it is, oh, there is the cutdown now. Okay. <laughs> Right, so they had it all along. So, you're still dealing one damage, you know? Still dealing you one damage. So you have four blockers here. In the best case, four blockers. And that is just barely enough. So this is eight, 13 damage still coming through. So I think we got him. I think we got him, you know? After a long and grindy freaking game, all we did was well, get him, man, with the Mardu, freaking Mondrag, freaking Glory Dominus of Mayhem. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. I mean, you could still try and draw a card, but then what? Yeah, you're still losing on, you know, blockers here. You're still losing on blockers, so that is still all right. This once more. Every one of those is doing six. <laughs> six. So that is even more. That is 24 damage. Just... You know, just to go on 24 damage. Oh, these Emperors. These freaking Emperors are just absolute freaking insanity, man. Just absolute freaking insanity. And you know what I will be doing afterwards? I will destroy everything but this. If they find a way to block here, if they find whatever way to block here, I will freaking destroy everything but their little zombie token. So, they're really trying. They're really freaking trying. But I will give them a little Elish Norn love like here. Okay, so once more for blockers. This is still 8 plus 5 is still, you know, a lot. So, it's 13. Okay, it's 13. I know math. I have the best math. So what you gonna do here, my friend? What are you going to do here? I mean, hey, somebody tries to defeat the master of Mono Black. With Mono Black, you know how it's going to end? Badly for you, my friend. Very darn freaking badly, my friend. Oh, there is nothing you can ever do ever again here. Nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. <laughs> All right. So, they did not figure out how to block here. Yep, they're still trying their best. But all of these blocks are just not doing it. Whatever you do here, it's not good enough. It is not good enough. Just ain't. Just ain't. Let's give it one of these because they still haven't figured it out. That they're just done, you know? Alright, still trying to figure out the blocks. Hey! 
Thank you so much for being here. You know, I will take the time to introduce you to my new favorite pet right here. So how are you feeling about this little thing? Oh, you're dancing? The Ourobrasks Forge? Still dancing? All right, so what you gonna do here? Find one cut down? I mean, even if they find a cut down here, you know? Not going to be enough. Why did they even double block here? I don't understand, man. I really don't understand. <laughs> oh, and here we finally go. Here we finally freaking go, my friends. Oh, Flipplaudiano, get out of here. Get freaking out of here. Mardu Mondrek got you freaking dirty, man. Try to defeat the mass of Mono Black and Mono Black. Who do you even think you are? You come into my house. You know what you gotta do? Take off your freaking shoes because all he's gotta see is the feet. Get out of here. We're up against K. Kai, keep. Opponent's going first. The hand is bad because we don't have any black source, which we most likely will need here. Uh, let's mulligan. This is way better even though we still don't have a black source, even though those are the most prevalent in our deck. So let's get rid of the Annihilating Glee here, because if we can't find a black source, we're super darn happy, aren't we? Happy like a clown Charlie Brown. Well, it doesn't look like we can find it. Okay, they will shoot my face here. <laughs> They're putting on top now! Why are you putting on top, man? Why are you doing that? So one more land and I will ex be extremely happy here. I wonder what they're bringing down. The bloated contaminator. There is another land. Oh, that is indeed freaking beautiful. Okay, so we will be taking one hit here. But I think that I will be bringing down the Solfim. Or am I? I don't know yet. I think I'm bringing down the Mondrake, to be honest. No blockage. You can have it. Go ahead. Destroy me utterly. Destroy me freaking utterly. So we're making a lot of creatures here though, which is also very nice. I could ultra block here if I want to. Oh yeah, I mean, why not have two of those, you know? Why not? That is just a normal amount. <laughs> that is just a normal freaking amount of things you should have here. Um, am I throwing my Mondrag under the bus? I think I have to, you know? But if I do, well, let's keep some blockers up. Let's just keep some blockers up. I mean, you know, this is just... Oh, come on, really? Freaking really? Game, you are a piece of trash. You know that you are a freaking piece of trash sometimes. I, I cannot believe this. I, I really cannot believe this. So, just a perfect start, you know? Just a perfect freaking start. And we don't have enough for the Wandering Emperor here. So we're just doomed, we're just dead, you know, there's nothing we can do here. Just nothing. We're just freaking dead here. <laughs> beautiful, freaking beautiful. All right, so let me see here. How do we survive this? Do we even freaking survive this? Like this. We're still taking four here. I mean, we survive, you know? Unless they have another lightning strike, then we're just freaking dead. But we will have to see about that. Maybe we even draw like a land here and do get a small insignificant chance of survival. Like the smallest ever. I don't know, they still have this, you know? But we could still very much just be very dead. Maybe they don't have anything. We will have to see here. We will have to see. One creature and we're doomed anyways. You know, there's nothing I can do about it. Yep, good game, my friend. Did we ever have a chance? No, never freaking ever did we have a chance in this game. That's the, you know, this start was just too darn explosive. Get out of here. That game was pretty darn dirty, but I'm telling you one thing. If it wouldn't have been for a double bloated contaminator, our chances would have been slightly freaking a better, but only ever so slightly. <laughs> not a lot, not by a lot, but a little bit better. I have to say I was a little bit surprised at 
how powerful the attack was. Are we up against Mono Red? No, it's soldiers. It is a soldiers. But I feel like we do have a good chance against soldiers. You know, if we can bring down our second Oni Cold Anvil here, we're okay. And they didn't play anything here, which is insanely good here. All right. We have a counter spell. Is there a counter spell coming? It doesn't look like there is. Okay. So in that case, we're bringing down Amisha's research desk here. And we're chilling, though. There's literally no reason to do anything. Literally none so ever. The resolute reinforcements. Well, in that case, let's bring down blockers. <laughs> we can still bring down Amisha's research desk later, you know? And draw some cards with that then. So. Shooting them for a two here, uh, for a one here. That is already pretty good. We do have the mechanized warfare as well. But I think that I'm bringing down the Urup Rask's Forge here. Because, you know, that is just very darn tasty. All right. Okay. We're blocking one of them. There's literally no reason not to do it. Literally none so ever. Oh, how are we doing things here? Well, like this, I guess. This is just even a little bit freaking better. Just ever so slightly a little bit freaking better. So, we are attacking in with this. I will be keeping my blood token so that I can, you know, destroy this blood fight house. Okay, thank you very much. That is... That is perfect. That is just perfect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm not complaining about that. Oh, the brutal guitar. The brutalest of all guitars. Getting rid of what? Exuberant Fusling? Really? Is that an artifact, by the way? No, it's not. Thank goodness. I did not mess up here. I did not mess up. All right, blocking here like this. And as we can, you know, do this next turn. Wait. Let's only block one. We do have enough life gain, you know? We do have enough freaking life gain. All right. My turn indeed. Oh, this is just beautiful. This is just freaking beautiful. I'm doing this. It is the smart thing to do. Trust me. I'm a scientist. And, uh... Now I am getting rid of you here. I kind of want to get rid of this, you know? I am attacking him. And now I am uh, sacrificing you here. So right now we're finally doing the sacrifice power kind of thing that I want to do, you know? And we can still block here pretty efficiently. They have another brutal guitar. Alrighty. Well, it does not concern me too much, to be honest. It's only ever so slightly. And they're not attacking in anymore. Beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay. So... Slowly but surely, we're doing things, you know? And we'll be bringing down the forge now, because it is just so beautiful. All right. Attacking in with both. Like, give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. Are they also blocking the other one? They are. What are you doing, my friend? This ain't it. This really ain't it, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the mechanized warfare comes down next turn. We can throw a card if we want to. And we will see what soldiers are doing. My lord, why did you block here? There was literally no reason to do that. You're still kind of in advantage, you know? Oh, that is a little bit bad because now we cannot use these anymore. This is good though, isn't it? Getting rid of this now. Tacking in with everything. Like, what are they even supposed to do? Yeah, that's the only thing they can block here, you know? Alrighty! I like it. And now we're doing this because we kinda have to. Otherwise, you know, we will be very sad when a mural attacks. But the thing is, they cannot really be doing anything anymore. If they attack in with the mirror here, I will just freaking double block. I mean, hey, three brutal guitars, you know, there's a limit to what I can do. <laughs> there's a limit to what I will do. The recruitment officer even now. Okay, well, I mean, hey, if you have three brutal guitars, what am I supposed to do about that now? 
Alright, but I mean, I can block this, you know? That is already pretty darn good. Getting back my exuberant fuseling here. I'm doing this now because I really need to find an answer. Really freaking need to find a freaking answer. Can I find an answer? Well, the Glory Dominus is kind of an answer, isn't it? Oh, yes it is! And now we're getting rid of one of these little things here. Go into combat. Attacking in with these two. It is still a lot of damage coming through, you know? It's not like it's not. They're blocking with everything here. I'm also very darn happy about that, you know? I think we still get them next turn. Freaking don't we? Because this is dealing so much freaking damage. Yes, it is. So what you gotta do now, my friend? I think I got you, eh? With your stupid little mural. I have gotten... I would have gotten them one turn sooner if I would have reacted to the mural. But I always freaking forget to react to the mural of Argive. Get out of here. I got you so good, soldiers. After that last game, this felt amazing. And you know what is the reason? Because Miro always looks terrifying. You just freeze in your steps, you know? You just started, ah, I'm not doing anything. But we got you. Slowly but surely, we got you. Get out of here. Alrighty, we have time for one last match. Okay, alright, I'm all for it. <laughs> We're going first. What is this, Krimis? So as long as we do find one more land, we're super good. If we don't, the Sundown Pass is slowly annoying me, but I need it in my deck. There's sadly no fast land for us here. Are you mono red? Nope. Are you playing the... Nope, okay, that is alright, I can live with that. Only Cold Anvil coming down here. So next turn we can go uh, either Wedding Announcement or just Misha's Intro Infernal Grasp. We will have to see here. Are you playing white? Yes, you are. I kind of... Ex is this my deck, by the way? No, it's not. Okay. It is not my deck. So are we doing things a little bit slowly here? I think we are. I think that the Wedding Announcement is already pretty darn good here. Shoo! We have the Misha's Research Desk. We have another wedding announcement if we want to, but I think that our plan here is Misha's Research Desk into destroying the Slaughter Slugger. Because I really don't like that. Oh! Yeah, okay, I mean, hey. No, get rid of that. Why not? <laughs> Why not? It's okay. Is this an artifact? It is an artifact. All right. Terrifying. Freaking terrifying. All righty. So... We still do have stuff to do, it's not like we don't, you know? If we draw land here, that would also be very darn good. I think we can find a land here. If we don't, I just screwed myself ever so slightly. Yup, there is the land! Beautiful, freaking beautiful. And we do have a nice little blocker coming down now. Uh, I will be keeping my mana open, you know? I really want to get rid of this here. And I think that if it comes to pinging... We can be winning. Why? Why do you have the venerated rot priest, my friend? Just to aggravate me, don't ya? Freaking don't ya? Do you think they have a protection for it? Do you think they have it? Well, we'll have to find out here, don't we? Freaking won't we? Okay. Now, we'll be blocking here like this. If they do have a protection for it, you know, they will be using it right away. Fateful absence. Let's try to get rid of you then. So as they're fateful absencing this anyways, I can also do this now, you know? Gain some life back. Only taking one toxic here is better than two toxics. Okay. Not exactly what I was looking for here, but hey, I'll take it. I will be doing this just for the unearth. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I will be getting three tokens out of this, and my tokens now are big and freaking strong. 
Okay, next to combat, ending the turn. There you go. All right, what you gonna do now, my friend? What you gonna do now? Do you have another venerated rod priest? Just to aggravate me. <laughs> and they scoop get out of here, match. You are no match for me. Once I get down to destroy everything you own, you will be sad, my friend. Get out of here. All right, we're one away from a slightly bigger diamond. You know, this one. I want to have this. So I'm playing one more game here. We're going first. I like it. I really do. And we do have the fast land here as well. We we don't have, like, you know, a, a turn one play, but that is all right. So, yeah. Deco, what will you be doing here? So, if we draw one more land, we can also play the Mondrak here, which would be pretty darn tasty. So, I will be waiting one more turn. Do you have a removal for this? Oh, you're this kind of a deck, eh? Alrighty. I mean, hey... We're just slamming in there every single turn now, and I like that a lot. So, let us see what else they have. I think they have Counterspellage, let's be honest. They 1 million percent of Counterspellage. <laughs> or Jay's coming down now. I mean, Jay's is a pretty good win con. If they now have Exile, Target, Artifact, I will be very mad, game. Very darn mad. Okay, doesn't look like they do have anything here. So let's go with the Misha's Research Desk first. Try to find land. That would be pretty good, you know? Pretty darn freaking good. So, what can we find here? Some land, maybe? We did find land. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. So, uh, yeah. Let's slam in there with our little, uh, you know, little mite that we're getting here. I mean, uh, this mite is just beautiful. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's you. It's you. Are you happy? Are you are happy? Dancing around. Uh, 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 dance with my might friend. I will be dancing a lot with my might friend in the future. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's fine by me. That is absolutely fine by me. I will be doing a lot of those now, you know, a lot of them. And if I draw one more land, I will be even more happy because then I can play the Mondrak, get two of those, second man of turn. All right, you're proliferating real good here, my friend. Proliferating real good. Well, we will see if I do draw that land. You know what? You know what? I have to make certain that I do draw that land. Let's get rid of this Eternal Wanderer. They're still in freaking counterspell territory. I do not like that too much. And they still have things in their hand, which I also don't like too much. But we will freaking see here. I did not find a land, which is a little bit saddening. All right, I still did not find that land. So let's bring down another Urbrask's Forge here. If they do have a counter spell, so be it. They better use it here than on anything else. And we're pumping these little mites out like there is no tomorrow. Yup, I expected this. That is why I did not play the Mondrag. Alrighty. So, here comes three damage to your face for free. I like it. Really freaking love it. So, we could still play the Misha's Research Desk next turn if we really are in danger. But the thing is, they could still have a farewell or stuff like that. You know, I do not like that too much. Here's another Blood Tide Harvester. Let's bring it down. If they do have a counter spell here, we can pay it, you know. And that also means that we can cycle some more Eternal Wanderers. All right. They have their own freaking wandering emperor. Well, isn't that something? It really is something. You know why? Because I can get rid, freaking rid of it here. Why could I not? What? Oh, I don't have a black source. <laughs> I don't have a black source. <laughs> I don't have a black source. And here I was like very darn saddened. Very darn freaking saddened at what is going on, man. Okay, I mean, hey, we still have the Wandering Emperor here. You know, that is still all right. What do they have? That is my only freaking quest. They still have answers, man. They still have freaking answers. That is just terrifying. We cannot play this here. So I am getting rid of you with this. 
Sadly, we cannot freaking play it, you know? That is just terrible. Freaking terrible. I have to try like this. If they do have a counter spell, so freaking be it. And it looks like they do have at least something, you know? At least freaking something. But this now is a 5-1 slamming in. So, hey! Oh, they return it to my hand, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, hey, the opponent is just doing us really dirty here, you know? Really freaking dirty. So what else do you have here? What else do you freaking have here? I wonder, I ponder. So one land would be super darn nice. I hope we can find it. You know, I know, I know. One land and everything. Like, come on, man, game. Come on. There's a limit, you know? There is a limit to all of these spells that they have. I cannot achieve this goal if you are just doing me this dirty. Just this freaking dirty. So we're bringing out the only gold anvil. Watch him have another bring in the ending here. Would not be surprised in the slightest. I think they will get us with proliferation. Why? Because um, that is just the way it is when you're one away from finally getting into the bigger diamond. Not drawing one singular land since 10 turns? <laughs> Unfreaking real, man. Unreal. Okay, so they still have stuff. They still have freaking stuff. But we can at least sacrifice our things, you know? And if we do draw that one land, oh, we will be so happy. So darn freaking happy. Okay. Yep. Poison it is. Poison it up, my friend. Poison it freaking up. I mean, this is all right, you know? We can take one hit here. So I wonder, I wonder what they still have, you know? Because up until now they had everything twice they needed. Freaking finally, my friends. Freaking finally. Oh, I cannot believe that it is finally happening. <laughs> we did find another land. Oh, isn't that something? It was a fast land, which in this case is a slow land. But that is alrighty, you know? That is absolutely alrighty. So, we're still trying our best here, you know? The best is yet to come. And stuff like that. Please block that one. Yes, thank you very much. That gives me a free Oni Cold Anvil creature. And I'm drawing a card here as well, which is also pretty darn good. I mean, we're very darn close to just dying, you know? Very darn close to just freaking dying here. This is good. I like that. So. What will be up now, my friend? They, they still... They, you know what they will have here? This. Experimental Augur. That is what they will have here. But the thing is, if they have like another Serum Snare, we can at least sack whatever we have here now. So that's also very good. But hey, this is just a typical, typical freaking game where you're one away from getting into the bigger rank and nothing happens for you. Just nothing. But your opponent is doing you pretty darn good. Yeah, that is, that is all right with me. I can live with that. I can freaking live with that. You did not get anything out of it, did you now? Freaking did you now? Oh no, you didn't. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Are you serious? That is how many of those now? Three? Yeah. That is just freaking three of those now. Just a normal freaking amount, you know? Okay, let us see what they do have here. And we'll be doing this. I want two of these suckers now. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here. So, what you gonna do now, eh? What you gotta do now? Please, show me what you got. Oh, is that right? Is that freaking right? You have one ring emperor, don't ya? Freaking don't ya? Oh, I'm pretty darn certain that you do. Don't you do it, game. Don't you use the white source. I, I will be getting you. I will freaking be getting you, dude. I will. You, you can try your darndest here, but I will freaking be getting you. Only attacking in with one, so we can have the token supremacy coming down. But they do have a wandering emperor, so be it. You know, nothing I can do about that. But hey, I'm very darn freaking certain that we will be getting them. So, 
Now let's do it like this. Sacrifice these two. Make two more. This now is indestructible. This now gets big and strong. We're getting four counters this turn. It is just everything I wanted to be. You know, every single thing I wanted to freaking be. So, show me what you got, my friend. Just show me. Come at me, bro. Come freaking at me, bro. I cannot believe this game, really. I know I'm complaining here a lot, but this is just once more, as I said, the typical kind of get out of here kind of game, you know? Just the typical kind of get out of here kind of game. So... I will be slamming in there. With freaking everything. Do I have enough for this? I do have enough for this. I don't have anything. They don't have freaking anything. Nothing for you. But the fit get out of here. I did it all, my friends. I beat Mono Red. I beat Mono Black. I beat this whatever this was. I got beaten as well, but I got in the bigger freaking diamond. Mondrek tokens. Mondrek artifact control, whatever you want to call it, is just insanity. Get out of here. These games were glorious indeed. Oh, I hope that my videos are looking way better now. As I said, like one video is between 5 to 15 gigabyte. Every single fight. So it should be pretty darn good. So I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon members. And I forgot to shout out our newest Patreon. So I will do it now. But once more tomorrow. Spike Synapse. Thank you very, very freaking much. I don't know if that is how you say it in English. But I would just call it Synapse, you know. So yeah. If it's wrong, let me know. I will give you your real shout out tomorrow on Sunday. When there's even more people watching. <laughs> But here he is, right there, Spike Synapse. Thank you very much. You might know them from the freaking professor video about the keyboard. Yes, that's right, that person. So I'm very, very grateful to all of my patrons and members. I was just, I just forgot, my friend. I hope you can freaking forgive me. I will still send you your tokens. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> and if you are still here, please, please put a little Malone Metal Dominus down below in the comments so I know that you are still here. And please remember that if you're waking up tomorrow morning and you see the beautiful, beautiful face of yours in the mirror, that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.